if one goes back and traces to the sources that program consciousness at the galactic and universal level through these various ages that manifest as our events, our history, uh, going into the core, into the inner core. And the change is from every individual particle, atom, cell, cellular consciousness of all living things, which includes rocks, includes the mineral kingdom, which is as alive as the vegetable kingdom, and the animal kingdom. And uh, it's that awareness and that science and that shift of culture which is coming about in all of us, and that's the shift. And that kind of sums it up. So thank you for sharing We Are the Shift. Thank you, Alfred. Bill Ryan? I'm going to be brief because Kerry and I are going to be covering this ground tomorrow afternoon when we get our chance to go on stage. When we met our whistleblower insider, Henry Deacon, who is now given permission to reveal his real name, Arthur Neumann, he is not here today. Um, one of the first things he told us, he said, one of the problems that we're facing here on this planet is that everything is happening at once now. And the problems that we're encountering are multiple problems, multiple challenges. And one of my favorite movies is, a, it's, I guess it must be 10 years old now, it's a movie called Starman that starred Jeff Bridges, a wonderful movie. Some of you may remember this. And there's a scene towards the end of the movie when the Starman is sitting in a, in a restaurant with all kinds of military vehicles outside and he's talking to some guy from NASA or the intelligence agencies who's waited his whole life to talk to a star man. And the star man leans over the table and he says to this guy, he says, what is wonderful about the human race is that when things are at their worst, you are at your best. And this was such a moving moment and so wonderfully delivered in this, in this uh, movie moment that the uh, that the intelligence government guy, he's just so blown away that he lets the star man go because he realizes that, that this guy isn't just somebody's potential experiment. He's a wonderful spiritual being who really has the gift of seeing what, what humans really have as their potential. And I think this is what it's about. This is my perspective on this, that as things get more challenging, as the Earth heats up, the solar system heats up, the political scene heats up, our consciousnesses, metaphorically speaking, are heating up, just as my colleagues have described. And all of this is coming to one of these wonderful, let me use the movie analogy again, if we're all in a movie and it's a three hour movie, we're probably about two and a half hours in, we've still got a bit of popcorn, it's getting quite exciting, we don't know how things are going to end, but it feels like fun, and this is it, we're in it, we're not watching it, but we're actually in it. Okay, I I've got one of those, okay, thank you. Uh, Bill Ryan, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I agree with that. Uh, I would. I would say that um, for myself, what we're looking at here is a change in consciousness and we are becoming a lot more aware. And with that awareness, you become aware of the negative as well as the positive. And that's the rub. This is on the 3D, the third dimension, we, we are in the polarity zone. We're in an area where opposites are what dominate and where you're going is in unifying the whole. So with that in mind, I think that having a bit of, um, let's say, leniency, forgiveness, whatever you want to call it, sprinkling that through your day and through your life, 
I think it's, it's really required at this time that you begin to forgive and forget injustices and divisions between yourselves and, each, and others. Um, and, and this is something that is required on a daily basis because I um, actually was talking with some friends and, and we were talking about what I, I termed jokingly the whoop movement of reality. That every time you think you've got it figured out, especially if you're an adept, if you're somebody spiritually quite aware and you've been through the, the mill and you've been reincarnated time and time again and you came here for the show as much as to transform the rest of the people around here as yourself, uh, what happens is there are times when things will happen that will throw everything in a, in a complete disarray. And uh, the, the, here at the conference, we've, we've got some of that going on already. Um, what you need to do is, is not hold grudges. You've got to move away from that kind of mental state and begin to embrace the opposite and find out what's really going on there and seeing beyond that to the greater whole and, and also realizing that the Illuminati themselves are in this dilemma. They know you're waking up. They don't know what to do about that, okay? They want to dumb you down. It's not working, <laughs> okay? Just look around how many people have come to this here in LA, La La Land. You've managed, all right? There are people awakening. We have incredible numbers of people coming to our website. There's a reason for that. We also have some very strong forces right now amping up for the last few months trying to take us down. All right, it's not working. There's a reason for that. So I'm gonna keep this brief, but we could go in a lot more depth at another time and place. We have a short panel here, and we're gonna to have to, to move on uh, to get the conference uh, going. Uh, Marsha Schaefer is soon to join us, but I'm gonna move on to Rebecca Jernigan, and that's, that's just something, some things I, I'd love you guys to keep in mind and, and maybe help us all get through this shift a lot smoother and with grace. I agree with Rich Dolan there. It's a matter of grace under pressure. Very nicely said. And for those of you who do not know me, my name is Rebecca Jernigan, and I do a radio show twice a week called Journeys with Rebecca. Um, I started this show about seven years ago. Um, I've always been a clairvoyant, um, a psychic. I'm energy sensitive. The list goes on and on and on. Um, one of the things that I was guided to do seven years ago was to put together a program that would bring not just myself, but other people into the public eye to share their stories, to share their knowledge, their information, their wisdom. It was up to the people who were listening as to use their own discernment um, as to what the information meant to them. Um, because it is about discernment. That's what this shift is also about. We've had a, uh, this, this panel up here has brought up so many different things. My brain is just on fire <laughs> with trying to figure out what's the best thing to say next. But the one thing that they are telling me that would be very beneficial for everyone experiencing the shift, and there's not anyone here that's here today that doesn't believe that we're in a shift of change of time, um, is to be fluid. Fluidity is the key because nothing, and I've been saying this for many years now, nothing is business as usual anymore. There are too many energies present. There are too many, um, I, would, I would say the influx of energies that are consciousness, that are intelligent, are interacting with us on a conscious and unconscious, subconscious, in our dream time level. Dream time has become more of a reality than it has become dream time. And I think there are many of you out there that have experienced that. It's also part of the shift. The dream time activity is communication coming to you. It's up to you to use discernment. So for those of you who are very active in your dream time, a good key here for you to do is to become a lucid dreamer. A lucid dreamer is somebody that can interact in your dream time so that you can start discerning who is interacting with you when you're not consciously awake. 
very, very important for the shift. Not a fear thing here. It's an